How about a little baseball? Ten new American Division Championship games. Sylvania Mavericks Black taking on Springfield. Luke Sulier, slow roller in the first throw over to first, gets by. And check out the third base coach. Great heads up base running and heads up coaching brings in two runs. Mavericks with a two run lead. But Springfield battles back. One run lead in the bottom half of the frame. Blaze Bradford blast out to left center. Evan Millsaps adds an RBI single in the second. And down the stretch, Springfield able to hold on for a 6-5 win, capping off a great season. From the American League to the National League, 10 and under demand command versus Anthony Wayne Blue. Bottom of the first command with a one-run lead. Charlie Arvinger with a runner in scoring position. Hits the gap. Rolls it out to left. Grady Overdick scores all the way from first to nothing command later in the inning. Bases juice for Landon McNally. Rolls it in to left. That's going to drive in another run. The demand demand the championships as they go on to get the 4-1 win. What, uh, what, what do you think you did that was good in particular? How would you describe your own performance today? Uh, I had a good ground ball play. Well, how much fun have you had this season? What have you learned about baseball uh, over the course of the summer? I had a lot of fun. Um, I just learned a lot of things from my good coaches and stuff. Um, my first hit of the game was out to the fence. It was a two-hop double, and my defense was really good. What, uh, in what ways do you think you've gotten better over the course of this summer? What have you learned about baseball over the course of the season? Um, normally, I would be cocky and use one hand, and I normally use two, and I catch the ball a lot better. I want you to look into the camera and just show them your ring. Best interview Mason Lowry has ever done. We'll send it back out to Mason and Scoot Miller. Well, I think maybe the big surprise watching these two games, these kids were only 10 years old. Those were two incredibly well-played baseball games. It really was. Uh, we saw some spectacular plays. We saw great hitting. We saw great base running. The pitching was stellar. Uh, just two tremendous championship games here this afternoon. And really both games were kind of similar in the sense that all of the offensive damage was done really early on. Our first game between Sylvania Mavericks and Springfield, that was a 4-3 game after one that ended 6-5. Demand Command in game two scored four runs in the first, and that held up thanks to that good pitching you talked about. Yeah, they had tremendous pitching, and those four runs they got, you know, came on their first five batters of the game, and that was it. But that was enough with the tremendous pitching they had, and again, just a tremendous effort. Their defense just made play after play. I think we're going to see a lot of those web gems on the top five here coming up. I think you could make a whole Midas top five plays out of some of the plays that we saw in this game. You, you hate to single out athletes when they're this young, but I thought Demand Command's pitching, and we talked about it all throughout the broadcast of game two. Taj Bannister, who threw the first three innings, then Grady Oberdick, who threw the last three. Those guys were really, really good. They were really good. I mean, they, they not only located pitches, did a great job just kind of mixing things up, but then they defended so well. They had high baseball IQs, did a great job of holding the few runners that got on base tight there and, and forced them to go station to station. Again, just tremendous job there. And to think these guys are only 10 years old. They're only going to get better, and they're going to get a lot better in the next few years, I have a feeling. Hats off to our two league champions, Springfield, the home team, and Demand Command. We'll send it back to you.